guys welcome back to my channel we are we're heading into March I'm not gonna sit here and say time is flying because personally for me I don't think time is really flying today we are doing February empties and considering it was a short month of the you know the shortest month of, of every year I managed to finish quite a few products I'm quite impressed and usually my February empties do not look this accomplished so um, I'm going to dive right in. If you guys haven't seen my empties, I'm, I've got this big turquoise bin here. I'm going to stick them in my bag so I can bring them out to the recycle when I'm done. And then March will be a fresh month. So uh, I'm just going to dive right in. The first thing that I have my eyes on is um, the perfume that I finished this month. And I don't finish perfume every month, so this is quite um, an accomplishment. Uh, this is the, what is this, the Rihanna Nude. Nude or Naked? I can't remember what it's called. I think it's Nude. It's her perfume that, uh, the only perfume that I like from her. It smells really nice. Uh, a little bit sweet, but not overpowering, not overpoweringly sweet. Um, I usually get them on sale for like $30 and change, but regular they go for about 60, 60 to 67 uh, They're more on the more affordable side compared to like a YSL or Juicy Couture or, you know, those high-end brands. So, I like to get them when they're on sale. I do have another one of these and I'm currently using it right now. Um, but perfume, I always take a while to get through. Um, but yes, I did repurchase that. I do like it for a more affordable everyday type of fragrance. Uh, tanning lotion. So the tanning lotion I finished was the Black Chocolate Coconut Cream by Brown Sugar. Uh, this is a 200 times black bronzer for tanning. Um, I don't tan as much as I used to anymore. Uh, the last time I did, I'm just going to show you. There's just a little bit left in there. I don't know if I can get it out. Can I get it out? It just, you don't even need to use it as a tanning cream. You can actually use it as a hydrator and it boosts, what, boosts whatever bronzing that you may have left. Um, yeah, there's nothing left in there. I only have a little bit that came out of the top just to show you guys the consistency of it. So it's like a dark cream. It smells amazing. It smells like coconuts, actually. And uh, I just like to uh, just put it on my arms. It does increase the, the bronze uh, color in your skin uh, and you can also use it for in bed tanning if you do or if you are interested in that. Um, I don't like to buy these full price because they're quite expensive so I usually get them on Amazon. I got this one on Amazon and uh, I, uh, I really did like it. I would repurchase in the, in the future. Uh, right now I'm trying a different one with a different scent and the bronzing is very nice in it. So I will let you guys know on that one when I do finish it. These usually take me a longer time to finish because I don't religiously use these as an everyday cream just because they're a little bit more on the pricier side. But it did hydrate nonetheless, so I've never had an issue. Um, okay, everybody and their mother talks about these and I don't understand why, okay? These are the Shiseido Facial Cottons. I don't know why my nose is aching. I don't understand why everybody and their mother talks about these and they think they're like the amazing, most amazing thing. Let me tell you something. I bought these and they come apart. Yeah, they come apart. They, um, the cotton on them is, uh, I can't explain it. When you take them and they're easy to pull apart, uh, it makes it harder to use because um, there's like very little cotton in between that keeps it to stuck together. So, you know, if you're trying to grab one out of a container, let's say, and you accidentally miss picking up the whole thing and just picking up half, that half is only going to peel off and you don't get the actual full cotton square because they do pry apart quite, quite loosely. So um, they fall apart. For $12, I can get the... Uh, what are they? The Quo ones? And I like the Quo ones better because they don't fall apart. So Shiseido, you need to uh, change it up on your on your cotton because I don't know what everyone's talking about. I don't see what the hype is. I would not repurchase. Um, what else did I finish? Okay, so we're going to get some TMI here. I suffer from hemorrhoids. If you don't know what hemorrhoids are, look them up. They're painful. Many women who have had um, children will know what hemorrhoids are because most pregnant, most pregnant women go through having them at one point or another in their pregnancy. I have never been pregnant, but I have suffered from them, uh, since I, you know, since I was, I would say maybe like late teens, early twenties, no, maybe early twenties. Anyways, they've gotten worse in my age. So bad. So that last month 
well, in February, I had a bad episode of them and I couldn't sit, I couldn't lay down, I couldn't stand, I had to lay a certain way in order for me to be comfortable. Um, you know, I was bleeding a lot, uh, no cream was helping me, no suppository was helping me. I was getting desperate and I didn't want to go to the doctor because to get, to get into my doctor, you have to wait like a few days and then when you're there, you have to wait another two hours and I'm just like, I don't have the patience for all that shit. So, um, I researched and in Canada, they have an oral treatment for hemorrhoids and I, I said, you know what, I'm desperate, I'll take anything. So, I tried these puppies. There's 18 tablets. For the first four days, you take three a day. So three times a day, you'll take one. Then the last two days, you'll take two a day. And then um, you should be good. They started working after two full days of, of medication, which was amazing. Um, and they went away by the, end of my, by the end of my prescription, I guess you could say. These are not prescription, they're off the counter, which is really good because you don't need a doctor's prescription for these. Um, I was really hesitant to try it, but I was so desperate that I needed I needed to try something. So I did try them, and I'm pleasantly surprised, and I'm actually really happy that we do have something off the counter now because now I can just, you know, if I ever get an, another bad spell, I can pick one of these up and just use the, um, use the directions and follow along. Um, so yes, if you do have hemorrhoid problems and you find that, you know, you're really uncomfortable, um, I suggest that you go to your doctor first. I mean, I've been to my doctor many times and they know I do have hemorrhoids and, you know, at this point it's just a matter of just keeping them treated. I haven't gone to the option of having surgery yet because I just don't want to go through that right now. So these have helped me. But if you do have them and they're really bad, you've gone to your doctor already, um, you know, touch base with the doctor, see if you're okay to try these. Personally, I just, you know, I went to go try these on my own just because I, I've known, my, my doctor's known for quite a while now that... I've suffered from from these these hemorrhoids, so I just ended up trying them, and they worked for me. But if you are unsure, consult your doctor first. But these are great; they do work personally for me, so I never had an issue. Um, I, you know what? My mom is get has got a cold, and my nose is starting to leak, and I'm getting scared that I'm getting sick. So, please bear with me. Um, okay, so it's not empties without my Listerine uh, or some sort of mouthwash. Uh, finished a mouthwash. Listerine is usually my favorite. I try to kind of not always go to Listerine because it is alcohol alcohol based. Um, but I do love this. It does work. It does keep my mouth fresh and clean. It does keep away plaque and cavities. I did go to my um, dentist in January. It was January. And I had no cavities. Woohoo! Woo me! Um, so uh, I must be doing something right. Uh, let me know down below if you guys are interested and I can do a teeth care video. Mm, what do you think? Teeth care video? Let me know. Thumbs the video up. Comment down below if you're interested and I will definitely let you know. I will definitely do a video. But I have repurchased. I do have one going right now and I do have a backup as well. Uh huh. Okay, so we have a couple of, of, uh, of wipe situations here. So we have the Pampers baby wipes. I use these to wipe anything. My armpits, my hands, my desk table. Sometimes my face, if I'm really in a rush and I don't have a makeup wipe, I'll use these. So these are multi-purpose, love them, will repurchase. The other wipes I have are the uh, cha-cha wipes, I like to call them. They're called the cha-cha wipes in my book. These are the Always Feminine Wipes, Eva 32. Uh, these are the Spring Blossom scent. Uh, honestly, I was, you know, in Walmart one day, found the feminine wipes that are from the uh, Equate brand. The equate brand so I'm like oh my god I'm gonna try those because in those ones you get 40 wipes these only are 32 so in those you get 40 wipes um, I have to say they do the job but the they do rip apart easily really easily so personally for me I may go back to always in the future but right now I'm using equate to, to just test them out but I think always you know wins wins the, that battle because they are a nicer scent and I feel like the towelette is a little more sturdier, especially when you're on your period and you need to wipe. You need something a little more, you know, sturdier in that sense. So always, you definitely win in that department. Okay, another thing of wipes. These ones are the wet wipes you get at the dollar store. You get 40 in a pack. Um, $1.25, I took these with me to Mexico and I brought them back with me because I didn't finish them all there. Um, I like these for just wiping down the counter, um, wiping my hands, you know, just keeping things fresh and clean. So, um, I will consider repurchasing these again, probably not until I travel, um, or in the summertime I'll leave a, a package of these in the car because they're really handy. Ah, oh, lordy lordy. Okay, so I do have a food, 
I do have a food empty. And the only reason I include food empties is if I really like a product. These are the coconut wafers from, what are they called? Uh, I don't know, there's no, there's no company on here. It's dairy-free, premium dark chocolate, oven baked with coconut milk. Uh, it is gluten-free, non-GMO. Got them for like $3.99 at TJ Maxx, and I did buy another one of these because they're really good. For five pieces, they're about 150 calories, and uh, I I think that that's a great a great option if you're craving maybe a chocolate bar or you're craving something really sweet and you just don't want to you know binge on that you know almost 300 calorie chocolate bar. Uh, this is lower in calories and um, you kind of get your fix because you get that taste of coconut and dark chocolate. So it's not totally, totally bad for you, I guess you could say. It's also gluten free and it's non-GMO, right? So um, they, you know, they've really, they've really, um, they've really done well with this one. I liked it. And I'm very particular when it comes to coconut-ish, coconutty-ish snacks. This one was a great one. TJ Maxx, look out for them. Okay. Um, I finished some... Oh, I finished some face masks, apparently. So, I finished the Dr. Jart Water Replenishing Mask. Love this. I think I have another one of these. I really do like the Dr. Jart masks. They are really nice and hydrating. Another Dr. Jart mask, the Vital Hydra Solution. Um, liked this one as well. Didn't have an issue. Really hydrated my skin. Um, and then I have two sample packs. I have the Dennis Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Strengthen Daily Peel. Uh, this is the step one and two. I got it in like a, you know, sample from Sephora when you go to Sephora. Um, I'm not a fan. Would not get these. I like the Murad ones better. I think they're the Murad ones and they are just a, a just a, a round and they have some sort of AHA acid on it that really exfoliates your skin chemically, which I love. Uh, these are not, these, these don't compare. I feel like the Murad ones are way better. Then I have the Dr. Jart Ceramidian Liquid toner and moisture retention shield i loved this will consider purchasing this in the future once i get my skincare stash down a bit i will this is on my list to buy because i loved both of these these were amazing very hydrating which is what i like um what did i okay so i'm getting rid of my paint pot by mac this isn't quite natural it's pretty dried out i don't know if you guys can see but the uh, product has kind of separated from the sides there and i can't really I can't, I just can't justify keeping this because I don't really use this color. It's so dark. I don't know what possessed me to buy this shade. It's so dark. Like I can't, there's no way I can use it on my eyelids. So, um, I am going to chuck this out. I should back to Mac it, but I don't even know if I have enough back to Mac products. Probably not. So we'll see. I may back to Mac this in the future, but I am letting it go. It did dry out. Um, I have a pack of razor blades that I have I have used up. This is the two pack of the Chic Hydro Silk. Um, like these, I do have a bigger pack of these in my stash. I have repurchased and uh, I will continue to purchase these. I think they're a six blade if I'm not mistaken. One, two, three, four. Oh no, they're a five blade. Regardless, they do the job. They work. They hydrate my, my skin, my legs. You know, I don't have any issues with that. So I do enjoy them. Uh, they are expensive. I will not lie, but I try to wait around when there's like a sale or at Christmas time when they do the the gift sets and then you get like a fresh handle and you get a few blades um, and then you know you only spend like 20 bucks which is actually worth it um, but yes I do like these will have will repurchase have repurchased they are pricey but they're worth it I can't use a two blade disposable um, shaver it just does not work on my skin I get irritated no matter what shaving cream I use and I'm just bougie that way sorry um, okay so I have there we go. I have an empty of my toothbrush. This is my toothbrush head. This is the head that I use. I finished a pack of these. I don't really show you these yeah, very often. It comes with three. They're really pricey. They're like almost $30 for three. So I usually change mine every four months when I go to the dentist. So after I get my cleaning, that same day I will switch out my head for a new one. Um, yeah, they can be pricey, but I just love my... Um, I love my, my mechanical toothbrush. So again, like I said, if you want me to do a teeth care video teeth slash mouth care video uh like this like this video and let me know down below in the comments i'd love to hear from you guys so i have repurchased these i usually wait till they're, they're on sale but they do work well oh lordy 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 what else do i have here oh you guys i have another paint pot i can't believe i had to get rid of two of them yes this one is really really dried out it's a very dark as well um i don't know why i bought dark ones if my lids my lids are not like my skin is not that dark um 
So I am letting it go. We are gonna, I think we're gonna back to Mac these. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put these on the side so I can back to Mac those puppies. Uh, okay, so we have some body and skin care. What should I get rid of first? Let's do body. So I have a body clear Neutrogena pink grapefruit body wash. Love this. I, as you can see, finished it up. Um, I usually have one going, whether it's at my house or my boyfriend's house, and I always use it a couple times a week just because it keeps my skin clear. I do have to repurchase this. I haven't repurchased yet. Uh, usually I like to use this in the summer because when you're wearing tank tops and your back is showing, you just want your skin to be a little more cleaner, but it does work. Love it. Will repurchase. I recommend if anybody has back acne or chest acne, um, try this. You will definitely notice a difference. I love it. My little bag is getting full. Um, okay, so keeping on with body, I also finished a couple of body creams. So this is the Viva La Juicy, uh, Viva, Viva La Juicy Juicy Couture Body Cream. This was like a, uh, what is this, a 5 ounce? I think it's a oh, 4.2 ounce. Came in this set uh, a long time ago. It was just a cream that had the smell of the, of the perfume. Honestly, the cream didn't really hydrate. I felt like it was really drying, probably because the main ingredient in here is probably alcohol. So I wouldn't recommend this per se. I just used it because it came in a set, but I wouldn't go out of my way to pick it up in a regular size. It's just not worth it for me. Um, what I did like was the Bath & Body Works Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Body Cream. This is actually a funny story. I bought this for my, my boyfriend for Christmas. It was in his stocking stuffer. Um, he doesn't like the feeling of cream, so I ended up being the one to use it, which is fine by me. Um, and I liked it. It was very thick, but it wasn't greasy. It really did hydrate and I didn't feel itchy after, which is great. And there was no greasy res residue. I was very highly moisturized. So I did like this. It was great. I would consider purchasing this again. This was nice. And then the other body, uh, cream that I finished, the Maui Mango Surf by Bath and Body Works. This is a 24 hour ultra shave, uh, body cream. This one is also nice. Smelled really nice as well. Um, very tropical. Uh, I love these. I will repurchase in any scent that I that I gravitate towards. I'm glad to finish this up. I'm trying to use these up, you know, more quickly because they do go bad eventually. So um, I did like it. We'll repurchase in the future. I have so many backups of just different kinds of scents from this this brand. So uh, I'm excited to use those up. But they, that was really nice for the scent per se. Um, okay, what do I have here? Okay, so everything else that I have here. Ooh, I have two. Oh no, I have three makeup items, you guys. So, um, first off, I have a travel size liner from Kat Von D. This is a tattoo liner in Trooper. Love it. I've repurchased in full size already because this is my favorite liquid eyeliner, and I will continue to repurchase. I finished up a concealer. This is the Ellie Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige. Um, you know what, you guys? Honestly, it was a nice, it was a nice, um, What's the word here? I, I left some in here to show you guys what I'm talking about. It was an it was a nice concealer. There's not even that much left. Not enough to do two two full you know under eyes and the T zone. The thing about this is is and I'll show you, okay? It looks nice and thick, right? And it looks like it covers. And when you apply it with the brush, it does look like it covers really nicely. Now, I have nothing against this 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 concealer by any means. Um, it's affordable. It's a great option for those who don't want to spend a lot of money. However, when it comes to coverage and lastability, I don't feel like this lasts all day. Okay. I can blend this out very nicely. Not a problem. Okay. That's not my issue. My issue is that it breaks down over the day. Um, and I feel like I don't want my concealer breaking down over the, the course of the day because the concealer should be set. And honestly, I set my concealer with a powder, okay? Um, and still, it'll break down. So you can tell. There is quite nice coverage, but still, it'll break down. And I just can't... Hold on. I need a... Ugh. I just can't bear to buy another one when it does break down. It just shouldn't be breaking down throughout the day. Um, I've tried all kinds of different powders. I've tried priming my under eyes first and whatever the case is, it could be some type of ingredient in the actual, you know, concealer itself. It just breaks down, period. So I am glad that it's done. Uh, I will not repurchase. This is the second one I finished because I had two. Um, 
this is uh, this is gonna be the last one that I buy because I just am for everyday use for girls that maybe you know go to school for six hours come home then I can say that this is okay but if you got long work days like I do long work days between um, eight to twelve hours sometimes and I, I wear my makeup for a long time this is not gonna cut it and um, as nice as it is for girls who start out or for girls who have a shorter day for if you're looking for a long period of time makeup wearing this is not gonna do it it was good while it lasted but I will not repurchase um, my last makeup, because the rest is skincare, <sighs> guys, I finished a foundation, can you believe it? I've been working on this foundation for months, this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation, I was in the shade Tan Deep, this was a nice, um, foundation, it was thicker, but it definitely stayed on the face and did not budge, there's nothing left, I can't show it to you, the consistency, um, love Tarte, love their foundation, I will consider repurchasing this in the future, uh, for the summertime, mainly this was like a summer... Uh, foundation for me but I need to finish some foundations before I start buying more so I'm glad I'm a foundation down people I'm so excited moving on moving on it was a good foundation I do recommend it if you're oily then definitely look into this if you are more dry I would probably stay away from this because it can cling to dry patches if you are not fully hydrated so if you are dry but you still want to try this make sure that your skin is hydrated um, is hydrated first with a hydrating primer uh, and then use it. Just just throwing that out there. Um, okay, skincare. So I finished a toner. This is the Lavender uh, Witch Hazel by Thayer's. Love this. We'll, can, we'll end up repurchasing this. I'm going through some toners now, but once I finish those, this is the one that I'm going back to. It's affordable. It's 10 bucks for this whole bottle, and it lasts a long time. Um, I finished a jelly cleanser from Junk Elephant. This is the Cantaloupe one, and it's a uh, one fluid ounce travel size. Got this in one of the kits. Again, you guys, if you've if you've seen my videos before, my empties, I will not purchase a forty five dollar cleanser. This cleanser is forty five bucks. Not gonna lie. Um, if you've watched me before, you know that I will not waste money on cleansers that are expensive, uh, just because they will get washed down the sink. Personally, for me, the money that I invest in my skincare is stuff that sinks into my skin and stays on my skin, opposed to washing it off. Uh, majority, majority. Um, it's a nice cleanser but not worth the $45 and I will not purchase it full size. If I get it in a gift set, then I'll use it like I did now, but I will not purchase it at full size price. I can find other things at the drugstore a lot cheaper. Um, okay, so here is the Bosha Thermal Black Cleanser. This cleanser is fantastic. One of my favorite cleansers in a shower. Um, it's a 1.7 fluid ounce. Sorry, excuse me guys. And I think I have a bigger bottle of this because I got it in a set. Now, mostly, if you see me using high-end cleansers, it's more likely because I got them or I bought them in a gift set um, because I personally don't buy full-size cleansers unless, full-size high-end cleansers, unless they're in a gift set that makes it worth the money. Um, I do love this. It's my favorite, uh, one of my favorite cleansers from a high-end brand. But uh, the cleanser is actually, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's like $27. And I've said this before, um, you guys won't find me buy a facial cleanser over, over 30. 30 is pushing it for me. 25 is usually my limit. Anything above 25 is really pushing it. If I absolutely love the cleanser and it's around 30, then I would consider it, but I won't go any more than that. I just feel like it's too, um, it's just too much. Uh, it's just too much for what for what it is, right? Because it does go down the sink in the end. Um, I'm just trying to find the the cost of this. I don't. I've never bought it full size, so I don't know. Um, oh, what do you know? Damn, the full size of this is forty dollars. The one point seven fluid ounce, which is the one I have, is fourteen. Um, personally, for me, I wouldn't. I don't think I would ever buy the forty dollar one. I do have the I do have the full size, the five ounce, but I did buy it in a gift set, and that's where. Um, I save the money on it. Um, so yeah, like I said, if you see me with full size uh, higher end cleansers, it's because they are, I found them in a gift set and that's why I grabbed it. That's the only way I will get a full size high end cleanser mainly because um, I won't necessarily buy it on its own just because I don't feel like it's worth the money because it does go down the drain, right? At the end of the day, you're washing your face and it does, you know, it does go down the drain. It was a good cleanser nonetheless. I did like it. I do have the full size through a gift set from Christmas. Um, I found it at Christmas time in a bigger size, so I did pick it up. 
but uh, if you are looking for a charcoal cleanser, it does heat up a little bit. It does take out all the dirt. I really do like it. I didn't find any problems with it. If you're interested, I would try the little size, this little size um, first, and then keep your eyes out for Christmas time. They usually come out with a full size in a gift set, which is amazing. Um, what else can I... Okay, so I have uh, two products here that were gifted to me by Neostrata slash Influencer. Um, this is the Neostrata facial, facial Cleanser. This one was really hydrating. And then the Neostrata Bionic Face Cream. This was super hydrating. So they were both hydrating products. Um, the cleanser, I'm not a fan of. I can find something more affordable that does the same thing. The face cream was fantastic. Um, I really did like it. Very thick, very hydrating. Perfect for winter time. Perfect for winter time. My skin loved the, loved the uh, moisturizer. Um, I would consider buying this in full size in the future when I get through uh, some more of my face creams because this was really nice for winter and I would considering I would consider getting it for next winter. So I did like it for those of you interested. If you're really super dry, you have just dry skin in the winter, try this out. It does it does it does work. I can't complain there. Um, okay, so more I have some more drunk elephants. So I I finished off two B Hydra intensive hydration serums that are pineapple ceramides. These are the, the small travel size. Um, I don't even know how I got these. Maybe they were in gift sets. I can't remember, but I did use them up. Um, and I love them. I have a full size of this and I do have a mini, another mini size, another point fluid ounce size of this. So I have the full size and I have the mini size still in backups because this is nice as a step in between all of your, you know, your skincare steps. So love it. I don't use this by itself. It's a serum. So you use it first as a serum, then you apply your face creams, and then you apply your oils. So um, if you guys are interested in knowing the steps you, like, you know, the order of the steps you should do for applying your potions of your, for your skincare, comment down below and let me know. I can definitely tell you guys. Um, but yeah, these are great. I do have a full size. It's expensive. Drunk Elephant is really pricey, but like I said, I put my investing and my money into stuff that gets soaked into the skin and this, this stuff, you, it just sits on your skin and it just gets soaked into it and it just does such nice things. So love it. And I do have backups of it. Um, I have a sunscreen. This is the Origins Perfect World SPF 40 Age Defense Moisturizer with white tea. Personally for me, I took this with me to Mexico. I mean, the SPF works. That's not, not the issue. The issue is that this is so thick that in summer climates it was really greasy this was better in the winter when i came back from mexico and i still was using it because i hadn't finished it there i found that my skin liked it a little more in winter climate because it was that thick consistency that kept my skin hydrated and protected at the same time so if you're kind of wondering if you should look into it my best my best suggestion for you is that if you have oily skin try it in the winter time because in the winter time it will definitely hydrate your skin and protect it at the same time if you have dry skin all year round, this may work for you all year round. But for those girls who are oily in the summer, this might not work. You have to use it only in the winter time. I liked it in the winter, summer, summer climate, not so good. Okay, so I finished an oil. This is the Josie Moran 100% Pure Argan Oil. Um, I loved using this for everything. I included a few drops of this in my body creams. I included a few drops of this on my cuticles. I used it in the ends of my hair. I just, you know, I used it on my lashes. It's a multi-purpose product. Loved it. I do have other oils going on right now, but in the future, excuse me, I would consider purchasing this again. Josie Moran's oils are really nice. Um, okay, so I have here the Glycolic Radiance Renewal Mask. This is the Glycolic Lactic Acid. I've had this before. And uh, I did like it, but um, I don't know. I'm it's cruelty free, by the way. I just saw the cruelty free bunny on here, and uh, I just I'm I like other AHA products and BHA products. So lactic acid, um, you know, for me it's a mask. I'm not really into masking with AHAs and BHAs, but it did it did good. I mean, I didn't have an issue with it. My skin looked amazing when I used it. It you know it did the job. If you prefer your lactic. Or your AHA, your BHA acids in a mask instead, then I would maybe consider the Ren, um, the Ren brand because this was nice. I just I'm more of a uh, serum girl, so I prefer my AHA and BHA acids in my uh, in my serums or in my creams at night when I put my creams on at night. Uh, 
okay, so I have two more masks and then a moisturizer. So this is my Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. If you guys have been with me since the beginning, you know this is my Ride or Die Clarifying Mask. Um, yeah, it's $80 a bottle, but it is so worth it. I used to have cystic acne like nobody could. There's a video of me with cystic acne on my channel. You can find that video and you will see how bad it really was. Um... Glam Glow really helped diminish a lot of my my breakouts and my bumps and all that kind of stuff. So I do use it as a as a spot treatment, mainly in the T zone or any or over any breakout that I may have. I do have a backup. I did purchase another one. This is fantastic. When I crack open the other one, you best believe I'm going to go buy a backup of that because I cannot live without this. This is like this is like a holy grail product for me. Uh, the other mask I finished is the First Aid Beauty Purifying uh, Mask with Red Clay. This is a peel-off mask. It's supposed to minimize pores, control oil, and mattifies. I don't know. Um, I'm not really a fan of peel-off masks. They are fun to do, but I just am not a fan of them. I don't know why I get a little bit weirded out by it. I f the feeling of peeling off the mask, um, this does not hurt your skin by any means. It does take out all of your dead skin and any, you know, any clogged pores you may have. But it doesn't lift off any hair, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't, you know, it's not painful. I just, I'm not a fan of peel-off masks. I feel like when I do peel-off masks on my skin, um, my skin can be very sensitive at times. So when you peel it off, it kind of makes it a little irritated. And that's just because my skin is quite sensitive. So uh, for me, you know, I do have another peel-off mask that I'm using right now. It's a drugstore version. I will let you guys know how I feel about it. But um, this is great, I think, for more of a younger skin type. Like you're in your teens or your early 20s and you know maybe you can handle this for me i'm in my 30s now this is just you know it was good while it lasted i don't think i'll get it again it's just not my cup of tea it's not for me i'm not really a fan of peel off masks in general um but if you do love peel off masks then you may like this one because it definitely did mattify and it definitely did control my oil i'll have to give it that so it was good but you know not my preference of the type of mask that it is my last product you guys is Pacifica Natural Beauty Coconut Probiotic Water Rehab Cream. This is a dupe for the Too Faced, Too Faced Coconut Hydrating Primer. Is that what it is? Too Faced Coconut Hydrating, Coconut Water Hydrating Primer, something like that. It's a dupe for it. A lot cheaper. This was sixteen dollars. The Too Faced Coconut Rehab Primer is like forty. Sixteen dollars, forty. Sixteen dollars does the exact same thing. Um, and you get more product. This is 1.7 fluid ounce and the Too Faced one is like 1.35. So for less money, you get more product and it does the exact same thing. I really did love this. It really did hydrate. Do I have any more? I just want to show you the consistency. So it's just a cream. That's all it is. It's just a cream. Um, there was nothing left in here. It's just air. Uh, so it honestly, it just hydrates so nicely on the face. Um, I can only use this in the spring, fall, and winter. In the summertime, this is just too hydrating for me because I get oily quite a lot in the, in the summer mostly. So um, I picked it up last year around springtime. It was a really nice spring last year and it was really warm. So I had to like kind of put this away for a bit because it wasn't really working for me in the summer. Come wintertime, it was amazing. I loved how nicely hydrated my skin was. It made a great base for my makeup, so I was really a fan of this. I would consider purchasing this over the Too Faced RX Hangover Primer because it is so much more cheaper and it does the exact same thing. You're paying more you're paying more than half of what this costs with the Too Faced one and it does the exact same thing. I would say go with the Pacifica and Pacifica is cruelty free. Um, which is amazing, and uh, it's formulated without petroleum, parabens, or phthalates, or SLS, so that's even better. Um, yeah, so this is a definite thumbs up for me. And that is my empties, you guys. It was a long empties, I can't believe it. I actually went over a half an hour. I'm going to try and cut this down in, in a little bit. Um, but uh, thanks for joining. Let me know down below the um, anything that you want to you know communicate to me based on what we talked about here today. I love hearing you guys and listening to you guys. I don't know why I just got freaking I just got an, a rash of some sort. Um, but anyways, thanks again for joining. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone. Mwah.